Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how I replant, whether it's indoor or outdoor plants. I have some that I'm going to put into this bowl here, this planter here. And then this is a house plant, a succulent that I purchased at Aldi that is so pretty. It's a new kind of succulent because, you know, I'm still having problems with the other succulents. So this one been growing pretty good. And I've been having this on the counter and I had one over there by the window that I had picked up for my sister. So I'm going to plant this in the house and the other is going to be outdoors. And I have some rocks that I'm going to, um, that I got, I got this from michaels for 6.99 with the 40 percent oil that i usually put in the bottom because i really don't want the dirt be running down on the porch so i'm going to put the rocks at the bottom i usually try to put rocks at the bottom and don't have to worry about a tray you know the water coming through and this one has a hole as you can see but i'm not gonna um this is a planter i have hole but i'm gonna put this rocks in here too and then I have some soil cover that I put outside and um, I found it to be very attractive and very pretty after you um, put your dirt and that stuff in. So I'm going to use some of that too. So we're going to get started. I have um, some container mix that I use outdoors. I have some of that left. So I'm going to use that for the outside. I'm going to use that for all of them. So we're going to see what I have left. So we're going to get started. First thing I'm doing, I'm going to put a little cut in these rocks. Let me see. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to cut this. Okay. So the first thing I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the planters. And I'm going to put some rocks in the bottom of the planter. And I already cut it open. That's why... I, Put you on hold till I get it open so I won't have to worry about because it had one of those string ties on it. And child, let me tell you something. This is double. <laughs> uh, they got two strings on it. Okay. I just cut that open. They had a double. Now we go on. Okay, first thing I'm doing, put some rocks at the bottom. Should be enough. Just a, just a layer. You don't need a whole lot. A nice little layer. I put a little bit more because I don't want it actually coming out. That's enough. I'm gonna matter of fact, I'm gonna do both of them at the same time. Nice little layer. And this is just so that it helps with drainage. And this way, all the dirt or the water don't be dripping all the way through crazy and so the next thing I'm gonna do I'm just gonna I have a this is dirt that I use on the planters and I have a little cup in here and I fill this up with dirt I'll just do one right now and I'll do the other one off camera And let's see. You know, wait one second. I ain't putting my gloves. I always forget my gloves because I could do it without the gloves on. It's fine with me. But I'm going to put these gloves on and make it cleaner. So I thought about that once I started poking in there. Now I'm gonna put this in here. And I just spread some newspaper out on my kitchen table. And it's the right height to um, to do it. And this way it's less mess. Just roll it up and put it in the garbage. Okay. I wanna see how far this comes. And normally I just loosen this up like this. Just loosen it up and it comes right out. It has a lot. And just shake it around, kind of loosen it up a little bit. Here's my thing. And I just just shake it a little bit, kind of loosen the roots up so they won't be so tight because we're getting ready to put these into a larger pot. So just shake them up, shake them a little bit. And I uh, dig, put a hole in there. 
and yeah that's when I realized I needed my my um okay what I want to do I want to put two in here so let me see if I could put a little bit more in there okay I'm gonna put two I want to put two, one in each and I have this one here put that over here I'm gonna move that out the way so I have more room to shake shake these off just loosen it up so the roots won't be so tight I don't know how long they've been in here. And, um, and I'm going to put both of these in here. And it just makes it a little more fuller. Like this. Just sliding stuff around, give myself a little more room over here to work with. nice and okay Let's see. tighten it down okay let's see here Try to get them in the center and press them down, tighten it up a little bit. And this is, it's not hard at all to replant your plants. You just got to make sure you water them real good after you finish. And like I said, I found those rocks on the top and sometimes you could put some peat moss on the top too I know it look real messy now these are my wall pockets for outside that I purchased and I had a hard time finding that brick so guess what my husband he decided to go ahead because <laughs> every every time I order those brick clips they would come in wrong so he just went and just um, put some nails in. He found some Seatman nails in the garage that he had. Because I kept going to the store looking for them. They were like $5 a pack. And I said, all I needed was two nails. He, he, he said, forget it. He said, I'm going to look in my toolbox and see if I have any. So this is it. This is one of them. And what I'm going to do, a little messy right here. Is that dirt a little messy? I'm gonna put some little ground cover. I think I can see if I can show you. Oh, so I think they, I think these rocks are so pretty. Let me clean up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just putting some soil cover. That's just my mom over there. She got a little cough. She has a little cough. So I'm just going to continue around and putting this soil cover. And I'm going to show you how pretty these rocks look. When you put them. They look so pretty. I did this on the outdoors. And you and it just looks so pretty. Just makes it look like those landscapes. Okay, this is tight. I'm going to put a little bit more over here. And both of these I brought from, I bought this from Home, no, Home Depot. It says fall cover. 
I really do like it. And it is soil cover, fall cover. It says soil cover and it's river rocks. And this is really, really pretty. And the other ones I got from Michaels. So this is how it pinched this off. This one, one of the um, blooms. So, but this is how it looks. And if I can actually let you see how nice the river rocks look. See how nice that looks? Makes it look so pretty. I thought it was really nice. So that's one done. All I got to do is water that. I'm going to put that to the side. And we're going to work on the next one. And let me do this first. Do my shaker room first and see how far up. And this is this one. Let's see if I can show it to you. I know some of the leaves just got to pep up. And this is how this is coming out. And if you can see the rocks. See how the rocks look? It looks so pretty. And... I'm going to show you again after I clean up the mess. So now to clean up, all you have to do when you're using the newspaper, all you have to do is just roll it up and then put this one over here and this will be ready for garbage. And this is all my garbage over here. So now I'm going to do this one. and. You hold on while I get some more dirt to put into this one. Okay, you guys. My camera shut off on me. So I had already poured the rocks in here. So now all I have is the dirt. I had to put the dirt. I had to start from that point. So I'm going to take this out and do it like I did the other one. And loosen up loosen up this and these this one is really tight um it's getting a little loose but this one is really tight it's a little damp too so i must have had water this a, a little while so and the roots are a little tight on this so what we do is this is a little high i don't know if you can see this but it's higher than this level off piece so you want to get it level and a little bit below it because I'm going to put the rocks in it. So what I usually do is just try to scoop, just make a little hole and push the dirt to the sides, to each side and make a hole and it sits down, go down further. So this is really almost perfect. Let me just put a little bit of deeper hole. It's busy in here tonight. <laughs> And then I'm going to pour in, this is really a little bit, okay, that is where I want it. So I want it where the, these are lap over, and okay, I could be up a little bit higher. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to pour some dirt all around it, or just put it in here on one side, and you can you could put it in on one side and kind of scoop it around too. And you want it in the center, so you make sure you keep it in the center and just press down on it a little bit. I um, 
look like two leaves is broken off. Okay. And dirt will It's busy around here tonight, you guys. I'm trying. Trying to do as quietly as possible. <laughs> People coming in and out. I really like this one. This one's a little bit different. I I love my little succulents, artificial and live, but I'm still having a little hard time with that other one. I forgot the name of it, but I just love it. But this one is called, this one, this succulent is called, um, it's called, looks like it's called pepperoni, pepperomia. And that's all it says about this one. Endless possibilities. That's all. Succulent Society. So I got that from Aldi and it was only $4.99. It was a nice size. And this piece broke off the top of it. This piece here was right here. So it was a very nice size. And it broke off in the car when I got home. But look at it. Look at it. Look at it. You can see those roots. I was so surprised. I just took it and brought it home and put it in this little jar here. And the roots is just right there. <laughs> so I'm going to keep letting that root and put that in a smaller pot. I thought I was going to put it in this pot, but I'm not. So this is really ready for the rocks because this is right where I want it to be. And uh, put in some pretty rocks. And this one, I'm going to sit this on my end table so this is right okay now sorry about the mess you guys working with this dirt over here and it's just not neat but I love these rocks in it peat moss is nice but these rocks I'm loving these rocks I put it in the one outside and look how pretty that look. It just that's something different. I never used to put, use these rocks on it on the top. I squirt it out and then try to put them in and okay, just move it around. Now, I see I have two that pieces that broke off. I'm going to see if they root too. I was reading something that said to just take the leaf and lay the leaf in the dirt. And I had one that was dying on me, the one that I showed before. And uh, that was dying on me, but then I was thought it was totally gone. And I see a little new leaf coming up. So maybe they are survivors. So this is, this is it. This is really pretty though. I really like the way these rocks come out. And this little tender there. But that would have been really nice if that piece was still on there. But it's probably, you know, when you break off the top part, it makes it fuller. But I would like it to go taller. So this is the way this succulent look. And let me see if... What I'm going to do, I'm finished with this because I'm not going to replant this right now. I'm going to clean I'm going to come back and show you a closer look at all three of them. So I'll be right back. I'm going to show you a closer look at the plants. And if I could show you the rocks. It looks so pretty. And that's one of them. And here, this is the other one. See how the rocks look? And it really does make the plants look like it's landscaping. <laughs> and let me see if I could get my hand. That's a little saw. But that gives you a closer look on how they look. And this is the last one with my 
gloves over here to the side. So we'll move that out the way so you can see. And this, look how pretty it makes the plant look as I flip it around. Don't that look nice? And I'm not going to do the other one. I think I'm going to let that root some more. But don't that look pretty through there? I really like the way this came out. So, so this is it. This is the way they came out. I just love the way they look. They're going to look nice on the wall. And this one I'm going to put over on my end table. So, this is the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already done so, please hit that subscribe button and join the Deals with Lady P family. I would love to have you. I thank you for watching. I thank all my subscribers, my new subscribers. I love you all. And I will see you all on the next video. Be blessed to be a blessing, everyone. Bye-bye.